This uh, planter is a 1790 John Deere no-till planter. It's made so that it can plant 30 inch row corn and then there's a splitter row behind each one of those or in between the rows so that it can plant 15 inch row soybeans. And it might be interesting to see some of the features that are on here, some of which are vastly different than what were available when my dad first no-tilled. The front of each unit, as you can see, has a, has a spiked row cleaner. Uh, we have always used Martin Row Cleaners from Elkton, Kentucky, and that's a good company. They turn out a good product. And then behind that is, I guess you could say, the business of it, and that is a disc opener, a double disc opener, uh, which goes into the soil at just the right depth, and that depth is controlled by a gauge wheel. And this large rubber wheel to the side is a gauge wheel, one on each side of the row. And that allows the corn seed to be dropped through a tube from this small box through the tube at just the right depth. And then underneath that is a Keaton seed firmer because Mr. Eugene Keaton, also from Todd County in Western Kentucky, was the one who invented that. And that allows the seed to be held in the bottom of the trench so that it does not bounce out of the trench or come in at a, at a bad place. You need good so seed to soil contact. Behind that seed firmer then, you have to close the trench and that's done by another Martin product, a Martin uh, closing wheel, the one with spikes. We actually run one spiked wheel and one rubber wheel and that gives us more flexibility on whether the soil is wet or dry. We can continue to run with the same product. Now that's a lot different than it was when my dad first started no tillage. There were no disc openers on his original planter. There were no row cleaners. There were no row closers. And the depth was controlled very uh, roughly, but uh, his was an experimental, a prototype. Many of these improvements, believe it or not, all originated in Western Kentucky. No tillage, obviously, originated in Western Kentucky. The first commercial farmer to use that was my dad. But as far as Western Kentucky goes, all three of those things came from this area in a Christian County, Tide County area. We're real proud of that.